So in this video, we want to test the hypothesis using the classical approach and the p-value approach. We're first asked to use the classical approach. So using the classical approach, we're going to need to find a test statistic and a critical value, and we're going to need to compare those two uh, numbers. We can find the test statistic by hand um, using these formulas, right, p hat equals x over n, and uh, z naught equals uh, this calculation to the right. Or we could use StatCrunch to do so as well. So let's open up StatCrunch. And I'm going to press Stat, Proportion Stats, one sample with summary. And then I'm going to enter my number of successes and observations. Looks like we have 78 and 150. And we're going to do a hypothesis test. I think um, it was 0.55, and this was a left-tailed test. Right? Yeah, P uh, was less than 0.55. And I think that's all we need. So I press Compute, and it looks like my test statistic is this negative 0.7385. I'm going to write that down. So here's my test statistic. Z0 equals uh, negative 0. I'm sorry, negative 0.7385. Now I have to find the critical value and then compare the two values. If my Z0 is less than the critical value, then I'm going to reject the null hypothesis. So to find my critical value, uh, we can use the fact that the level of significance, or our alpha, is 0 0.10. And we can either use the table in the back of your book or StatCrunch to find uh, the critical value. So first, let's do it using StatCrunch, and then I'll show you how to use the table. So under StatCrunch, uh, we're going to press Stat Calculators, and this is normal. So here's our normal curve. And our critical value, or I'm sorry, our level of significance was 0 0.10. And this was a left-tailed test, so I press Compute, and it looks like my Z value will be this negative 1.2816, we'll say. So let me write that down. Okay, so you can see I have my, my um, test statistic and my critical value, and I want to test to see um, if my Z naught is less than uh, my critical value. So you can see that this is not true, right? Um, in this case, my Z naught is actually bigger than my critical value. So that means we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis, excuse me. So I, I select the button that says do not reject the null hypothesis. Um, but before I move on, I do want to take a look at the table in the back of your book. Uh, this is appendix A-11. If you remember, our level of significance was 0.10. So if I look for 0 0.10 on this table, let's see. It looks like 0, 0.0 is going to fall in between these two values here, right? Because we're at 0 0.0985 and then we go to 0 0.1003. So if we look at the, um, the labels here, it looks like we start at a negative 1.2 and then we go up and some number between 8 and 9. So I would probably say negative 1.2. 8.5, which was pretty close to what we had here, right? Negative 1.2816, right? So this is an exact value. Uh, the table gives us a number that's, that's still pretty close. Uh, I wouldn't change our outcome, right? We would still fail to reject the null hypothesis.